woman loved her little dog. It was a chihuahua, chihuahua. Time is up. May we see your blackboards, please? Chihuahua is C-H-I-H-U-A-H-U-A. The winner of the Cement City, Texas Spelling Bee of 1922 is Bonnie Parker. <laughs> Where's my underwear? Damn it, where's my underwear? Why? Because I've had it with you, Bonnie. You think you're better than me and you're not. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I just want something better for the both of us. You push, and you push, and you push. You're just scared to want something better. That's what I mean. You never let up, damn it. Here. Put it through somebody else's nose. Mrs. Parker? I'm sorry. Mrs. I'm sorry. Parker! Life is hard, Mrs. Parker. And I don't need someone to make me feel like dirt. I'm leaving. Now, if she just keep her mouth shut and let me go to work when I want to go to work, I'd still be here. You're a good cook, Mrs. Parker. I loved your red beans. And if I was older and you were younger, it could have been you and me instead of her. Goodbye. Roy. You're scum. Damn you both. Hey! Scum! Here's Arvin. You know, I remember seeing him that first time when I was a girl, and I thought he's the most beautiful animal I'd ever seen. Why don't you come out tomorrow and ride him? Up, Arvin, it's been so long since I rode a horse, I'd slide right off and then fall on my head. Thanks, but Sunday's my day of rest. Bonnie. I'd pay you to come and spend Sunday with me. But if I was older and more your age, I'd be there, Arvin. I'd be there bright and early Sunday morning. Thanks for asking. You were very nice to him. Well, I've been offered money before, but never with a pony ride thrown in for a kick. Well, that is truly very kind of you. You still at Western Union? No, I'm at the post office now. And I'm getting into politics now, too. Slow and steady. That's you, Ted, always a turtle. At least you're in the race. Hey, Sylvia, where are you? Over here, jerk! You're torturing me, Bonnie. Stop it. I want to kill you. Stop it. You want me to get you something to eat? No. 
Mom set me up just fine. How's the cafe? Ugh. Hey, idiot, where are you? Over here, jerk! now on, you're my slave. Oh, God. Todd Barrett. Bonnie. Bonnie Parker. <laughs> Man, the little lion got scared. Couldn't see through the high golden grasses of Africa. Mama, he cried, and his mama's ears shot up. And when she found him, you know what she said? Fear will make you strong, but Mama will make you dinner. <laughs> so someone actually let you borrow their car? Well, I told them it was to see a childhood friend who was sick and dying of laughter. So what did you mean back there at Sylvia's about trouble being an opportunity? See, most people see the depression like tar. Once you're covered with it, you can't get it off. For me, trouble was an opportunity. Like when your marriage ended, that was bad. But at the same time, it was a chance for something new. Or someone new? Glad I've had slicker come-ons by farmers need deep in mud. <laughs> Couple more feet and this have been door to door. It will be. I mean, I should just get out and walk. No, come on, I'll drive you. I, I don't know what the big deal is. You were a married girl. I was a married woman. And hadn't been with anybody in over a year. That's what the big deal is. That's terrible. <laughs> I appreciate your concern. So you wanted to be with the right guy. Are you gonna cry when it happens? No. I'm gonna scream at the top of my lungs. The neighbors are gonna think somebody's being murdered. You think you can handle that? I've ridden some wild ponies. <laughs> when was the last time? Recent enough to remember the feeling, but too long ago to remember the day. Well, should I get out here and walk? Are you gonna drive me to the door? So you gonna go another year? After the first year, it's a breeze. Come on, I'll drive you. Drive. Hold on. <laughs> My hot oatmeal and lots of it. That was a beautiful car you come home in last night. Mm. You ought to smell leather. It's a different world. Whose is it? Hey, you know better. I met a great girl last night. She's tough. Not to be crazy about her. I can't wait for him to meet her. She's real different from Blanche, though. What do you think of Blanche? Buck don't bring her by much. I don't have a feeling. Well. Maybe he don't want you to see that she's got him roped in pretty good. Oh, perfect. 
When's the last time he's been by? I promise you, Mom, I'll get him here real soon. I don't know what's gotten into him. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. Now in a second. That's it? Good. All right, now slap it in the hot, baby. Hi, I'm good at this. <laughs> I really am. You're natural. <laughs> Woo! My brother Buck and I used to do this all the time. Your brother sounds a lot better than you do. This would go a little smoother. Take what you can get. You made this dress anyway. My mama. What are you gonna do tomorrow? I don't know. Why don't you take the day off work and see if we can't get that old coop up to 70. What are you going to do in life? I don't know. Why? You worried about my future? Yeah. Don't worry so much. Don't be so serious. You're throwing away a lot of good todays. I guess I just want to know everything's going to be OK. If it's not, just close your eyes. I learned that from my mother. Buck hates it. He, he says she's blind. I think she's smarter than all of us. And, and so, during these unpredictable and painful economic times, what we need is, is good government and good music. <laughs> Well, we have an election in three weeks, and please vote for Harold Martin for sheriff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I have to get out of here. Let us just go. Well, you're ready to drive with the best of them. Hey, pull up right over here and I'll pick us up some sandwiches and something to drink. Well, didn't we spend everything on gas? I got a little something tucked away. Keep the engine running. This one's finicky. Don't want to stall it out. <sighs> Hey! 
keep the engine running. Go, start it up, start it up. Why, what's wrong? What's going on here? Go, 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 Well, you're a pretty good runner. Why did you do that to me? I, mean, I didn't think you'd ever know about it. I never thought that guy would come out of the store. But why did you do it? Why did you do it? Honey, I didn't plan it. It just happened. Those sandwiches were talking to me. God. He must have been really scared when that guy flung open the door. Right, so I'm cold and petrified for some stupid sandwiches. All right, sweetheart. I'll get us a car and get you home. Hold tight. Good. I was really scared. I tried getting back to you. I couldn't find another car. Liar. Don't call me a liar. Why? You too honorable? Come on. Why would I leave you out there all covered in mud? Your leg's cold. Your body needing me. Your dress probably so soaked through. I can see every part of you do it. I'm aching now. Think about what I missed. Disgusting. Bonnie, I didn't lie to you. What else you want me to do? Sweet baby, give us another chance. Don't throw it away. Not a good guy. Give us another chance. He's trash. Mama, it's been a month. I'm going back with him. He's got nothing to do but be charming. He doesn't care about you. Don't be mean to me, Mama. I need a man to love me. He steals cars. No, he doesn't. He just takes them for joy rides. He's teaching me how to drive. <laughs> I'm dying here, Mama. I can't stand the cafe. I can't stand the nickels and dimes. Then leave, sweetheart. Texas isn't the world. I'll help you do anything you want. Where will I go? The depression's everywhere. <laughs> Believe me, I want to go. But where? I don't want to go alone. I'm too serious a person. You are. 
I'd like to change. Do it. I'm climbing the walls. I want to climb you. Do it. When? You pick. Now. Before you turn 20. between the two of you tomorrow. Something special. What color you like best? Sort of caramel and cream or cobalt blue? Caramel and cream. What are your best dress? You must like to drive an awful lot, son. Officer, have you ever closed your eyes and pictured the girl you always wanted? That's the girl that's waiting for me right now. She's all bathed. She's all perfumed. How about it? Give us a break. You take me for a jerk, son. We know all about you thieving barrels. Now, come on. Mrs. Barrel? Yes. What did they do to you? I tell my mom that I so bad. At least they don't see me as a productive member of society. <laughs> now, I know we had some wild nights together. When we get married. Only wives and blood relatives can visit. Laden sent all my letters back in a bundle. I was going crazy not hearing from you. I thought you hated me. I never would take that car if it weren't for me. Well, I did have a great night planned. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Honey, if I get out of here, I'd leave Texas. Start over someplace new. I'd go straight to Massachusetts and work for my cousin. Help me get out of here. Hug me again. Hug me. Come on. I promise. If I get out of here, I'll never get in trouble again. Don't let me rot in here. 14 years. I'll be 34. I don't want to lose you. You won't lose me. You find another man. I love you. The paper I gave you tells you where there is a gun hidden at a friend's house. Get it. Bring it to me. Give me my life. His mother and his sister are gone every day. Glad I'm, I know. I'm not going to make it through in here. Give me my life. Give 
vosso lado. They said that if they're not here, I should just come on in. What are you doing here? I thought you were in Massachusetts. Two weeks was enough. She's mom back being a chicken. Excuse me. Who are you? A friend. <laughs> hey, I thought I was supposed to be the one in jail. WG in the back. For me? WD went out into a field and picked them all himself. WD, how sweet. Thank you. Well, I told him to do it. So where are you from, WD? No one knows. He just appeared on the road. No one knows if he's from heaven or hell. <laughs> now, WD, you know children are to be seen and not heard. Yes, sir. Thanks. Mom. <laughs> no. Glad, listen to me. Go back to Massachusetts. Boston's worse than here. No work in, you freeze your butt off. Well, if you're gonna stay in Texas, you gotta turn yourself in. <laughs> Buck, you're crazy. Well, I did, and they let me off. There's too many people in the prisons, Clyde. I mean, you show the slightest lean to go straight, and they'll throw you out of jail to get room for some real bad guy. Bonnie, Blanche here turned me around. Now we have a life. You'd be for my brother what Blanche is for me. I'm not gonna chance going back to jail. I'd have to be crazy. What if they don't let him off? They kill him in jail. What the hell are you gonna do here in Texas? The whole state's blowing away. Car's done. What are you gonna do? I don't know yet. Maybe we'll leave Texas. What? Hey, I don't know what's gonna be either. But I know with my family and Bonnie behind me, it'll come to me. It'll come to you, too. Don't leave. Costa. <laughs> he gave me a lot of advice. He gives advice, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I got to hear some of that. <laughs> Don't look before you leap. It ruined the surprise. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, you can be anything you want if you can get someone else to believe it. Even, even if you even, don't. Uh -huh. He told you that one too? Well, not exactly. He ever tell you time flies, fly faster? Uh-huh. What your boys talking about? Old times. Be careful about the advice you give the kid. You might believe it. And once you're older, you realize that none of it makes any sense. Open your cash register, please. What? Please, you. So they have three dollars in it anyway. Hey, there's a safe back here. Open it. 
Come right up now, mister. I'll just shoot you. Try. I'm trying. Don't you stall me. Come on now, I'm not kidding around. You screw around, I'll just shoot it right open. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What the hell? What you fuck? You ricocheted off the safe. You idiot! You idiot! What you do? We're dead! They can't just we are dead! Clyde? Is that you? I'll give you your privacy. You don't say anything to anyone. I understand. It's just between you and me. So what do you got against WD? He's cute. Don't let the puppy ass fool you. Why are you so edgy? You've been really mean to him the last couple of days. I don't uh, think I want him around anymore. He really looks up to you. You know, that ain't even enough to keep him around now, is it? Take this one. Identification, please. All right, go ahead. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Just stay put. And then Lou Lion cried, Mama. And when she found him, you know what she said? She said, fear will make you strong, but mama. Will make you black and blue for running away. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Police. Girls, I'll be right back. And then I'll show you what the, the little lion learned from the daddy line. <laughs> Right. You know your advice? If you can get a girl laugh, you can get a girl bed. This really works, because I, I could have got two girls tonight. You're a genius. Identification, please. Identification, please. Show me your identification. Get out of the car and give me the keys. Sure. You gonna give her the car? Go north. Start over somewhere new. Place like San Francisco. I'm going home. Don't. If you do, we'll meet in heaven sooner than later. The police know you're with us. WD, how much gas we got in the car? Half. What am I going to do? I'm going to get you some money.
Eleven dollars. Do you got any more money? Well, eleven bucks in a party dress. People started with less. How did this happen to me? Come here. Come here. I think we should go now. Come on. It's three us now. Although the county requires its lobbying to buy their own guns, don't bother, Dad. You save your money, buy your boy a big present instead. I take this job seriously here. That's my job to take it seriously, Ted. It's your job to deliver the summonses. You've done enough for me, Ted. I wouldn't be here without you. It's just like the post office. Everything's gonna be fine. Nice and smooth. Sad and soaked time. Keep the engine running this time. Don't you blame anything on me. Doing everything you want me to do. Hey, lady driver. Can you give a guy a lift? Beat it. Beat it! four days ago. What's the damn thing? <laughs> I don't believe he loves you. Ma, come on. Look, I'm happy. I don't think about the future anymore. It's just one day at a time now. How did I lose you? You didn't lose me. I just fell in love. Were you at the dance hall that night? That was a thousand years ago. And it doesn't matter anymore because we're going to be together forever. Has he said that? No. I never asked. Ask. And then after he says yes, you ask yourself if he's a liar. Well, you can always come home. I know you mean the best. And I love you more than life. Don't love anybody like that, Bonnie. You to promise me something. Anything. You get this bullet out. No. The bullet stays. I never want you to leave me. You promise me that. I promise. <sighs> hold, 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 hold it. Hold, hold. Wait. I need my bell up. I don't want to scream in your ear. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> you believe in promises? We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Your friends Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker are getting more famous every day. They just shot a sheriff up in Grapevine. Now, you're the only one I know who can recognize those two if they're in a car at night. Did you ever shoot a pistol? No, only rifles. Well, you're gonna wind up being a bird dog on these two. So you learn how to use a gun. Can you handle this, Ted? Yes. I used to be Daddy's friend's little guy. What happened along the way? Oh, uh, howdy, Ted. You got a letter for me? Uh, no, Miss Barrow, I'm no longer with the post office. I mean, I'm now deputy sheriff. Ted, if he'd done everything the newspapers say he'd done, he'd have to be in a thousand places at the same time. And my boy ain't no killer. Miss Barrow, if you see Clyde... I don't see him. Well, if you do, could you tell him I'd like to talk to him, just him and me, a few minutes, maybe we could save everyone a lot of pain. Did I hear you got a baby now, Ted? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 18 months. Well, I'll have to knit him something then. Thank you, Ted. It's very nice. Ted? If you was to talk to Clyde, what would you tell him? I'd tell him there's still time to save Bonnie. You know, when we used to deliver telegrams together, he'd actually go out into the rain to deliver them. <laughs> I never understood that. Maybe he liked the rain. Oh, I don't care if Bonnie likes him or not. He's a deputy sheriff. I don't want him nosing around. I need my ass saved by him or anybody else. Forget it. What? Just get in the car. I know. I know. Bonnie and I will never have kids, you know. You don't need them. You got me. We're blessed. I'm gonna write a letter to the Secretary of the Army. He should be embarrassed. We knocked off grocery stores harder than a national armory. Now, keep the butt of this Browning automatic rifle tucked right up in here. Think about how we sleep together at night with your butt tucked right up in here. <laughs> Clyde, go away. Now, think about when we're making love. Can you hold on to my back real tight? What? Now, let's see if you're as good with a Browning automatic rifle as you are in bed. You are disgusting. Well, maybe you should just stay at home and warm the sheets. <laughs> not for you. You're not getting in them anymore. She's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remember this day. WD, they get the brownie and let's take a picture. Come on, honey, get over here by the car. Smile. Okay, now one on me. Wait, wait, wait. First. Get out. More thigh. Just shoot. Now me. Wait, 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 just one more us. Okay. 
Okay, now it's your turn. Oh, damn it, it's out of film. How come this happens every time it's my turn? Well, we'll get more film, and I promise the first pictures will be you. Here's a letter to Henry Ford. Dear sir, while I still have got breath in my lungs, I will tell you what a dandy car you make. I have stole Fords exclusively when I could get away with one. And even if my business hadn't been strictly legal, it don't hurt nothing to tell you what a fine car you make in the V8. I really want to send this one. Give it to me. Shouldn't I also tell him it's almost bulletproof? No. God knows. And they might sell them to the police. Is it that junk they drive now? <laughs> I love this letter. I'm stuck. My, my legs are jammed in here. Let me see what I can do to you. Uh, honey, I'm gonna have to come around the other side. Bud? Everything's okay. I'm just get Bonnie out. You pull the car around. Some help real bad. Our, our campfire stove exploded and kerosene went all over and she burned real bad. In here, in the bedroom. To the right. Bedroom's to the right. Why don't you go ahead and get her clothes off? I think it'd be better if I wait outside. I'll go ahead and mix the vinegar bath with wet soda, but these are real bad. She's gonna need a doctor. You run over to the Clemens house and call the police. They have a car full of guns. I don't know if it's Bonnie and Clyde or Pretty Boy Floyd or Babyface Nelson, but there's somebody. She, but she's just a girl. You know, she's even with them. Who's that? Who's that guy? Oh, 
He works for me. He went to get a doctor. Bull. Don't you go in the way. We gotta get out of here. We have time. Anything comes up here, you just don't do nothing. We're just trying to help, son. I think we should go. How far is it from the nearest sheriff to here? The truth, they are driving fast. About an hour, at least. This girl has to have a doctor. She's not going to make it. What do you want to do? Let's give her as much rest as we can. I'll go over there in them bushes. Go ahead and go inside. Okay, everybody inside. You, you're in that, that bedroom back there, and Mrs. Pritchard, you're in there with Bonnie. Come on, get. Uh, I'll just get some more vinegar and soda for her. started to run and I, I shot her hand. Damn it. Watch everybody. Thank you for caring for her. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm truly sorry. You're scum. She was in a fire. Where's the nearest doctor? About 30 miles east. Who are you people, anyway? Bye Dillinger. And and up. Clear. Doc. If you tell anyone you saw, so help me. He'll come for you in the middle of the night. 
Just remember, these have to be changed every day. You can't let infection set in. Do you understand that? No infection. Just sleep, buddy. This one's for the blisters, this one's for the open sores. I can't read. And I'll never remember all this. WD, you'll God, do please, this! Please, please, I don't want to do this wrong. Just look, I've been drawing pictures. Just draw me pictures. Whichever's for the foot, you draw a foot, and whichever's for the head, you draw a head, and, and I'll put the medicines in the pictures, and, I'll, and then I'll know which is which. Just, just draw me some pictures. I'll be back in a day or two. Follow you? No, I'm sure of it. I brought sheets and bandages and uh, whatever medicine I had in the house. I don't know which of the right kind, but uh... well, can we go now? I I've been thinking, Miss Parker. You can't go with us. Why? If you do, Teddy Hinton will let every cop in Texas know. Well, we're going back with him, Miss Parker. And we'll care for Bonnie with Clyde. I'm not going. She's dying, isn't she? Now, he didn't say that. You shut up. Now, Mrs. Parker. You son of a bitch, bastard! You killed my daughter! I spit on your face! I spit on everything you people are! I vomit when I think of you and your brother! You are filth! You are all filth! Well, help me. Don't you ever cry for your children. I'm not going. He's my brother. His wife is dying. He needs me to be close to She's him. She's not his wife. You're married deeper than most. That's not the point. Well, what is the point? You're going to die alongside next to him? The point is that I screwed him up. He looked up to me, imitated me. I didn't give him much to look up to. God's sakes, he's my kid brother, Blanche. If the police find them, they are going to shoot them. And if we're with them, they're going to shoot us, too. He'll bury her, and then we'll come home. Do you hurt? Mm -mm, not now. Is my mama here too? No, she she couldn't come. She wanted to, but it was just too dangerous. She sends her love. Well, Clyde promised that he's gonna have you two rocking on that front porch as soon as he can. So he finally charmed her too. Well. What do you think? Well, if I grind the heads and make adjustments on the carburetor, I can get you another uh, 25 miles an hour. You want them? Yes. How much money have you got left? Just a few dollars. We had a couple hundred, but it burned up in the car. Well, we'll have to get you some more. I could still use your help, Bonnie. 
If I can get her through the next few weeks, she'll make it. Yeah. We'll help. We'll help. I appreciate this. Appreciate what? What's going on here? Aren't we going? Soon. Now. Soon. I'm gonna miss them when they go. Especially since we won't have Blanche to kick around anymore. Oh, Blanche is only joking. Blanche, I'm only joking. How's it look? Pure peace. I'm going to the pharmacy to get some bandages and medicine for Bonnie. Anybody need anything? Yeah, you give me some licorice, black and, and red. Black and red. Yeah, a soft bed. This place is a dump. Looks like a hot time at the Red Crown. They're even bringing up an armored car. Dad, they're only gonna die once. Come on, it's Bonnie and Clyde. I promise I'll stay in the armored car. No. I'm not gonna miss this. I'm either inside with you or I'm going on my own. Look, go home. Now. We're going. Where are we going? In the car, we're going. Hey, where's the WZ? In the bathroom. Let's go. What's that? Tourist, big brother. Two's riding the back. Look, they're not sure it's us, so we get first swing. How do you know that? I called and asked. This is the police. Come on out. Oh my God! Help! Help, Bobby! Okay. This is the police. Come on out now. If we don't move the armored car, we're in trouble. Pick your shots with no one clips. When I start firing, you start firing. When you hear that car, you come running. I see movement there. It's time.
Get the guns. It's our chance. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Glad to help. Doctor, he'll make it. You gotta turn Buck and me in, otherwise he'll die. No, he wouldn't want me to do that. Nobody's gonna die. Now let me have a look at that eye. I'm gonna need to work on this a little bit. I fixed up Bonnie, I'll fix you up too. Thank you. Yeah, they're walking dead. <laughs> Which one's the original? The rose or the cigar? Not the leaf of ball. Print the cigar. Why did Clyde whisper you back to motor car? If you need to pee, you hold it in. Don't you be getting everything all wet. You calm me right down, too. It's all I could think about. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wonder why people were born at all? <laughs> Only me. Some water. Hey, honey. Good morning. Well, we're in beautiful Iowa, and after breakfast, we're going home. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh, 
calling you an idiot. Now come with me. No, I don't want to go. Emily, please, please, just come with me. Please, I'm really, really on fire. No, please, just go. Come on, come on. I'm not a damn squirrel. What's that supposed to mean I am? I'm sorry, but it's been nuts and berries for four days. I love you, Clyde, but it ain't fun no more. I could take the bad with the good, but now it, it's just real bad. So what do you want to do? Nobody knows I'm with you. I'm going to go home. What? It's always been you two, on the front page and, and all the pictures, you know? They, they, said, they said Bonnie and Clyde and that little guy. No name, just a little guy. Ain't that something? So when we die, it'll just be Bonnie and me on the front page. I'll be with my daddy in Louisiana. If you ever make it through, you come. I mean that. It's been the greatest time of my life. He did more for me than anyone did ever. You angry? No. I wish I could go home too. I never forget you. <clears throat> Treat. Some wild asparagus, some blackberries for dessert. Where's WD? He went home. It's just you and me now. Oh. He didn't want to see me or say anything? He didn't want to cry. I can understand that. You've been sitting there for 10 minutes without saying anything. I've been waiting for you to wake up. Buck died a few minutes ago. Oh, well, God, he must have been so terrified to die without me there. Blanche. He didn't do anything wrong, except for love Buck. They want to put you in prison for 10 years. 
There's no ties for you to Bonnie and Clyde now. If you could answer some questions, it could be helpful to you. What do you want to know? Who's that other fellow with him? His name's Blythe. He come from Maine. He's the one that did all the killing. You're a law woman, Blanche. Hope you're doing the right thing for yourself. <laughs> you can't be gone. You can't be gone. Someday they'll go down together and they'll bury them side by side. To few it'll be grief, to law relief. But it's death for Bonnie and Clyde. What do you think? I want it printed on the front page of every paper in the country. It's beautiful. From the truth. It's from your heart. It's gonna keep us alive forever. How much? Son, this is a day that will be remembered and cherished by everyone. And I would think that especially you two would want something special. Flowers, music, or were you thinking of a private ceremony? I don't know. What do you think? All I want to know is that we'll be buried side by side. I guarantee it. Now come. Let's pick a spot. Oh, it's great how you got everybody here so fast. I had a hunch it was today. And let me fire first. I don't want to hit any of the relatives. You don't get a clear shot, we don't take no shot. I saved these for you. Are all these stories true? We did a lot of bad stuff, Mama. But they make us sound a lot grander than we are. So that's what happened to that roll of film. Mama, I promise you, I do not smoke cigars. That was a rose. How do they do that? I swear, Mama, I swear that was a rose. So you got all the stuff? Billy held the bag for you? We'll just wait until the family packs up. We'll take Clyde first. Well, you was always such a scruffy little boy. I wouldn't have expected you to want to wear starch shirts as a man. Buck never fussed with his clothes. But he was always presentable. Both of my boys always made strong impressions. Here you go. Did you bring any pillows? Pillars. Oh. Clyde, I'm sorry I forgot, son. The next time, I promise. I'm a mule. I'm not very good at this, am I? motorcycle officers. That's 12 people dead, nine of them are police officers, and you had them in your sights. Not exactly. That's not what I'm told. 
I use my best judgment, sir. They've been spotted over in Louisiana, going and coming from a farm owned by an old man, Jones. If you take whoever you need, the local sheriff will give you another half a dozen men. It is time to get this done. Ted, don't let them shoot first. You got a wife and a baby. There's no honor dying at the hands of filth. You stay. Watch out. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> I tell you, he's not nearly as crazy as he used to be. Oh, yeah? He used to be, he'd wake up in the middle of the night screaming. Never talk to nobody. Dying near a girl. Now he's getting some from a woman down the road. She's five years older than him. You <laughs> wished it was me. <laughs> You're not taking him again, are you? No. I don't know what you did to my son. It's wonderful. He's become a child of nature. You all familiar with Browning? 20 shots in four seconds and reload fast. I'll fire first. Who's gonna say halt? No one. Move the cars. Woo! Body, come here! What could have you so excited? Listen to this. Dear Mr. Barrow, Thank you for communicating your enthusiasm for our Ford V8s. We hope that they will continue to bring you satisfaction for many more thousands of carefree miles from the offices of Henry Ford Sr. Well, how do you like that? The man should use me in his magazine advertisements. Live a thousand lives with a Ford. <laughs> Thank you, Nelsie. was writing to you. Bonnie, how could you? Come on, Henry Ford is not a stupid man. I'm sorry, Clyde. It just seems so unlikely he would answer you. Why? This could be a big thing for him. I, I could design a line of getaway cars. See what that does for sales. <laughs> These mosquitoes are fierce. They make mosquitoes. There's Louisiana swamp jiggers. I feel like they had teeth. Enjoying being invisible. Uh, my butt's full of thorns. How'd you sleep? Like hell. My God, look at you. I must look like you. You ever kill anybody? I want to read you something I wrote last night. Now. Now's perfect. Now, Sal was a gal of real beauty. Hey, your name's not Sal. Not everything I write is about you and me. Now, shut up. Now, Sal was a gal of real beauty. She left her old home for the city to play in its mad, dizzy world, not knowing how little of pity it holds for a country girl. I couldn't help loving him madly. For him, even now, I would die. One year, we were desperately happy. Our ill-gotten gains we spent free. He taught me the ways of the underworld. Jack was just like a god to me. The rest of it's going to be about how she gets caught and sent to prison. And when she gets out, he's with another woman. So she kills both him and his girlfriend. But I thought she loved him. Oh, she did. She loved him so much she had to hate him. What's that supposed to mean? Well, her love was a force. 
and it had to go somewhere, and if he wasn't going to take it, it was going to bounce back to him as hate and sadness. What the hell are you talking about? After she kills both him and the girlfriend, I think she should kill herself, too. It's a good idea. I'm going to go finish this. Why do you kill me in the poem? Oh, come on, Clyde, grow up. Why do you kill me in the poem? Sal kills Jack. I'm Bonnie. You jerko, Clyde. Don't fool with me now. If you're leaving me, tell me. I'm not going anywhere. Because if you are, I'd rather be dead. Clyde, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, Bonnie. Forgive me. For what? For taking you away. That's what I wanted. There's nothing to forgive. I'm very happy. That's old man Jones. You think Bonnie and Clyde are in the truck with him? I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to question him? Make sure they're up there? I got an idea. You ain't heard the last of this. They're worried about locking up the farmer. We are kidnapping him. We'll give it another hour. My boy! For God's sake! What should we do? My boy! Gag My boy! It's my Thank you.